And let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the Seven of Wands and the King of Wands. We have somebody resisting. Looks like a fire sign. Maybe more mature than you. Uh, very passionate, very fiery, right? And they might be fighting something. Uh, they are blocking communication. Seven of Wands, Page of Swords. They are in reverse, right? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, but I feel it's more about they don't want to talk. They isolated you in some way. They isolated themselves. Um, it's a battle of egos, the Seven of Wands, and now it's the Seven of Cups out of confusion, right? It is because of confusion. It is because they don't know better. Seven of Cups is when I'll make my choice, I'll know better, right? When I'll know better, I'll make my choice. Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords in reverse, the same message, no communication, probably a little bit of stalking, a little bit of I want to know, I'm in a process of making an idea of this, but still, Three of Cups in reverse, nobody's happy, they are not happy, you are not happy, they are not served, you are not served by what's going on right now, so... And you know I combined a couple of decks, right? So don't be surprised if we love confirmation. So we kind of, when we have it twice, it's like, well. Um, so Taurus, Three of Swords. We are still hurting. Five of Swords in reverse. There was a fight. There was conflict. We've been very patient. Still bound to them. Still committed to them. And feeling sorry for what we said and we've done, right? That is lovers, that is still love over here. Ten of Wands, heavy love, right? Oy, 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 oy. I'm just saying, <laughs> right? Three of Swords, Five of Swords, a lot of Swords. I, I, I believe Taurus communication might have been an issue there. Five of Swords, you know, it's when we, um, we know what the other person's uh, buttons are and the red ones, right? And we push them all at once. That's a five of swords. It's like, I know where it hurts, now I'm going straight there. Um, fiery energy here, but more of um, fiery in a sense of um, action, reaction. But honestly, a lot of swords in this commitment, Taurus. And you show up here, the Hierophant bound to them, missing them. That is a lot of love here, but it's a heavy love, right? It's a heavy burden type of love. It's the one that we don't know which way to go, right? That is not a, an easy, breezy kind of energy there. That is no laid back energy here. On the contrary, I feel told us that you are doing all the work. Um, here, you feel responsible for this commitment. You keep it going. You keep it um, loving and kind. And um, it, it has an energy. Uh, told us, I don't know whose energy I picked up here, but it feels like always looking at what you might be able to improve or what you have done to uh, have the current dynamic with this person right and the world of patience seven of pentacles knowing that harvest time is coming it's just a matter of when right so tell us past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual current energies on your side the person and mutual. I'm gonna take three. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Bottom of the deck, seven of wands in reverse. And the moon in reverse, Pisces energy, and the knight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the ten of wands again, and hermit. I know it's, it's kind of a the silence is deafening. Um, and this is kind of, uh, you know, and um, probably you guys had a fight and now um, the other person is not talking and we wait on them, you know, to open up, to say something. We are patient. We know it's going to pass, right? Um, so to us in the past, we do have the death, um, Scorpio energy and the nine of pentacles. Somebody gave up on this commitment. This is the energy of... Um, of endings and transformations. This is the energy of a new chapter of a closed door because in tarot there is no like death and that's it, right? It's death and opening up a door um, towards something. And I feel it had a heavy uh, time. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is financial insecurity. 
um, it's you not probably being at, at that time, right? When it happened, we were um, a little bit unable 100% to take care of ourselves. Um, one thing, commitment, being um, still committed to this person and just refusing to be by yourself, right? We we know family is important, um, roots, um, stability, and, and this is how... Um, and it has an it has an element of, of surprise, but in the same time, you know that uh, communication was a problem and fights conflict, right? Fights and and conflict at this at that time. Now this person of yours, um, six of the of the star in reverse and six of cups in reverse. I love the energy of soulmates. This is a confirmation that they do have a, a soulmate bond with you. Um, aware of it, knowing that that is something, um, you know, that um, connects you, that is uh, stronger than the relationship itself. But the start in reverse, this is Aquarius energy. Um, this is feeling lost, right? This is no guidance. This is what am I supposed to do? This is confusion. Um, this is kind of not aligning because we have like as above, so below as it's in the stars and in the, that's, um, that's what we channel and we uh, put into works, right? But this person felt just a little bit lost there for a moment. And then a world of betrayal happened. Might have been because of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Might have been because of Queen of Cups, a love situation and Ten of Swords. The ultimate betrayal here. Um, and the, the ultimate love. Of course, Queen of Cups can be you, Taurus. Having a lot of love for this person, mature love. And yet getting 10 swords one after another, right? Whatever decision they've made out of confusion, out of um, um, emotional detachment, out of, um, you know, overwhelming emotions became again a burden. So absolutely that was an ending. Three of swords, five of swords, 10 of swords, 10 of wands, right? Um, and it's interesting because so many energies of that nature, it feels like thank God is over, right? It's like, yeah, it might be painful, but boy, what a relief, right? This is how the past feels. Um, insecure financially, but happy that it was over. And Queen of Cups and Ten of Swords is a lot of emotional maturity after the biggest betrayal ever, right? It is the energy of I grew up, you know? Well, I, I know you might say, but you know, I didn't have a choice, but you know, it feels like the energy of, um, you know, it took the ultimate betrayal to see how the person is, to understand the situation and grow from it in such a beautiful energy. Um, because Queen of Cups is the most amazing energy, right? Of intuition and, and sensitivity and um, being um, able to relate to others um, still and connecting to, other and to others and seeing uh, the wisdom, the emotional wisdom of, of everything. So um, it's a beautiful energy. So where are we right now? A Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. We do not settle for less, right? Ten of Cups is the energy of blissful life, is the energy of happiness. It's the energy, thank God, is over it, but it's also the energy of family, focusing on family and children, uh, things that um, bring us pleasure. And it's, uh, Taurus, I feel you are in a good place. You are in a good place, burdened by what happened, but in a good place. Um, and of course, it's the energy of still loving the bastard, right? I know, or the bitch for that matter. Um, but um, nonetheless, we are stable and still having emotions. Guess what, Taurus? You are all over their energy, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, and the Seven of Wands. So they are a little bit blocking at this time, standing their ground, being a bit defensive, needing time. Seven of Wands is leave me alone um, kind of energy, you know, I leave me alone, I don't want to talk to you, I need time, I need space, I need my bubble. Um, I'm working on things that keep me on fire over here. Um, but you show up and it has a, a loving energy, you know. The Empress is the energy of creativity, the energy is the energy of giving birth to something and it can be very, very well the energy of your person actually working on some endeavor of some sort, hoping to bring abundance, uh, being creative with something, needing kind of the hermit mode and their bubble in order to create something 
uh, with the Empress energy here for some of you. Now, Taurus, at this time, what, what do we have? Seven of Pentacles, and we have it again. Um, we do have the Three of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Wands. If you are dealing with a, with a fire sign, it's kind of right now the energy of I don't have expectations. I am patient. If it comes, it comes. But I still keep them in my mind and heart with the Queen of Wands, right? That energy is um, in your energy and vice versa. Your energy is in theirs. It's a contamination, COVID-19 kind of contamination here. <laughs> I'm joking, but to get my point right. Um, you are still in each other's energy. Um with patience, with love. And again, this person, they might really be working on something, on some expansion of some sort. They might have the mother of their children, the father of their children, and they might be blocking because of, they might be blocking them. That is something happening in their life. Um, that's for sure. Um, and in this connection, Taurus, they started a little bit confused and uh, not aligned for some reason, but with um, genuine emotion. Six of Cups is the soulmate energy, is the loving energies, right? The Empress just like uh, the same, but it's always paired. If it's not confusion, it's blocking, right? So that is still, they still see obstacles within themselves and around them uh, when it comes to this commitment. Energy is coming your way. We have you and the Hermit in reverse, Virgo in reverse. Um, this is them opening up, right? This is them um, saying, you know what, I've been, I needed that time apart, but now I want to talk to you. The Hermit in reverse is coming back. I don't want to say from the dead, but we do have the death in reverse, right? So from the dead, you, you know what I mean, right? From no communication, we have communication again, and you show up here feeling strong. And I'm so happy to see this, Taurus, because in the current energy, you show up like the Knight of Pentacles, which is your energy. And now we have the Hierophant, which is your energy, the energy of wisdom, the energy of health, the energy of aid, the energy of, um, you know, a strength and traditions and values and you being yourself. And um, probably getting communication for some of you, I would expect the Hermit, you know, somebody needed the soul journey in order to... Um, <clears throat> think of this person of yours uh the energy coming their way king of cups with the nine of pentacles somebody here enjoys being single i would say um Taurus, nine of pentacles is the energy of independence and the king of cups is taking control of their emotional world and getting back in balance single but in balance right emotionally and mutual energies between the two of you, Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands, both of you afraid that this commitment might be over. Whatever you've built, whatever roots you, uh, you've you kind of laid down, um, it's going to um, drain in some way. Um, but that time apart is needed, uh, Taurus, I feel. We still have in our energy the energies of betrayal and pain. So the time apart is good. Um, anyways, on your side, you look good. So it, it's, you know, it's helping. And on their side, they are working on something here. Nine of Pentacles in the Empress is really somebody focusing 100% on um, work, making money, expansion, financial. Uh, development and blocking all distractions that's the seven of wands with the empress is like laser focused on um on something right uh, that uh, gives them abundance money stability emotional security because they have and the empress which is the energy of abundance and the king of cups with, with which is the energy of emotional security and and uh, and intelligence for themselves so for some of you, yeah, they can have the mother of their children, the father of their children, but it's not uh, the main energy that I'm picking up. It's it's mainly somebody enjoying, um, you know, working at this time. And Ten of Wands and Lovers is it's kind of their energy too of saying, yes, that is love and they have love in their heart, but they are working. Ten of Wands is the energy of responsibility of extra responsibility we have the hierophant twice we know it's the institutions organizations big hospitals 
um, big government, um, you know, institutions. So it's professors, teachers, right? So I might be picking up the energy in Taurus. So either it is you or the other person, but somebody is laser focused on um, expansion. So let's ask for some guidance. Should we say yay or nay? Right? That's that's always the question. Should we say yay or nay? Finances and career for the love of God, right? So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Absolutely. Career and money, the whole reading is about somebody focused. And I know, right? Um, you know, Taurus is also focused on uh, right finances and what's security and money and it's um, right. I know. Somebody might say, well, this is Taurus energy. I know. But uh, this is how it shows up and you always have to take what resonates, right? Um, so give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, Taurus. And bottom of the deck, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So somebody here, if you are married to this person, um, Taurus, I feel that, yeah, despite the, the money and the career, we need to let go of something and give them another chance. We have the sacred woman, finances and career and the sacred woman. And you know how it feels, Taurus, it feels like the universe saying, money is just a piece of paper, right? At the end of the day, relationships are important. Coming from a place of, I don't want to say sanctity, but this is how it feels, right? But you know what I mean. Higher self ascension, um, a place of healing, right? And at the end of the day, what comes is the connection with people. And it's never about the money, right? What else? We have be supportive. Give your relationship a chance and right under Taurus, you have be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. I feel like the universe is giving you the responsibility, Taurus. I don't know whose energy I picked up here. But we have finances and career and the sacred woman, right? Not from a place of uh, financial um, abundance, but from a place of spiritual abundance. Be supportive, give your relationship a chance. We do have let, let go of control issues and soulmates. You, I don't know if you have jealousy issues, Taurus, but this is kind of the universe assuring you, come on, you are soulmates. It shows up twice, so let's not control them. Let's come from a place of confidence, a place of trust, a place of love, a place of understanding. Um, you know, people get lost in, in, um, uh, in you know, from time to time we, um, you know, you need to be reminded of the destination. So it's kind of the, the universe asking you, you know, to be understanding. And the energy of abundance, you and this person actually need to put abundance back into the flow. And um, and self-esteem and, and trust and confidence. So tell us, I am a limitless being. This is what you have to tell yourself, right? To activate abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. What else? Abundance, balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Surrender obsessive thinking. If you are obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you the clarity and even solve the problem. What else? We have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I feel that is something about that, right? And we have forgiveness and expression. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So the three of swords, the five of swords, the ten of swords and the forgiveness and we have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Um, Taurus, I feel that this one is in your hands. This is kind of when I look at the whole guidance, the whole guidance, the universe is asking and imploring and showing you, um, right? 
that we have to be supportive, we have to give them a chance, we have to come from a place of um, financial disinterest, right? It's not about money, it's about um, spirituality, it's about um, connection, it's about vibrations, right? So hey, this is all that I have for you guys, you know I love you, I wish you nothing but the best, I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.